So we are definitely here to talk fashion, but first we have to get into Doja's new streets video because y'all, the video was giving everything it was supposed to give. It was the body for me, the real body for me. I'm a Doja stand for life. Let's get into it. Closer to me, baby. Hey guys, channeling Chelsea here with what to wear on CCTV. First of all, I've loved Doja for years. Let's just let's just put that out there, okay? Streets has been my favorite song for like the past three years now. And you know what? I'ma let y'all have it. You're a little late, but I'ma let you have it because it's a good song, okay? The one thing I loved about this video, other than the fact that Kofi Cerebo starred in it, I mean, like who else could have been the love interest at this point? You know what I mean? Like Kofi looks absolutely amazing in this video. She looks absolutely amazing in this video. So can we just talk about the fact, and this is not a shot at anybody. I'm not speaking subliminally here because I know sometimes things get misconstrued. But I just want, whenever y'all watch a Doja video and when you look at Doja, just remember that that's a real body, right? That's what a body that God made, really. That's what that looks like, right? It don't hurt. She can shake it. It moves. All kinds of cool stuff, right? And again, that is not a shot at anyone. I'm just saying these are the things that I'm thinking about while I'm watching this video, okay? If you haven't seen it, crawl up from under your rock and go watch this video right now. Because it's going to bring us to trend number three, so I'm going to circle back to that, okay? Before I get any deeper into Doja and into streets, welcome to the show if you're new. It's a really fun format. I give you my three favorite trends. I tell you how to style these trends and where to buy these trends. And I don't know nobody that holds you down like that. Trend number one is... Actually, I'm really excited to talk about this one because it's a fairly new brand. Well, well, from my knowledge, it's fairly new. I've been seeing for a couple of months these like bandana bags, but they weren't the traditional box shape or like the sweetheart little, you know, shape. It was um, literally, it, I, I, I want to say it kind of resembled a takeout box in a way, but like the little strap was off to the side. So it's just like an interesting uh, construction. So I'm like, where is this bag coming from? I'm seeing all these influences with this bag. What is this bag? So I do a little digging. Turns out, um, the name of the company that produces this bag is Yato, founded by uh, Carlton Yato and Tuli Yato. Now, total side note, and I'm going to just give you a little bit of backstory here. Carlton and Tuli Yato met on Facebook, all right? It was a suggestion Facebook made, a friend suggestion Facebook made. Carlton added her and sent her a message talking about, you know, we should get together, your birthday is coming up. She responded, one thing led to another. Now they both own this brand together. And you know, their brand started out as custom made to order pieces. So they were doing a lot of upcycling, right? Sustainable fashion, which we are all, you know, moving to. Sis, I can tell you right now, um, if you're the kind of person that buys a lot of clothes like me and you don't sell your clothes, you were doing a lot of harm to the environment, okay? We're gonna talk about that. The thing about this site is, cause I know y'all are gonna go to it. The thing about this site is, you can't even just browse on there. You have to have a password. So you don't get the password until the drop. I'm gonna say that one more time. You don't actually get the password until the drop. Y'all, these drops are getting crazy. And sis, all I can tell you to do is follow everybody on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to everybody's newsletter. That's the only way you're gonna get this exclusive luxury designer fashion, okay? Like I said, they started out custom made. And I know y'all saw that Rock Nation jacket a minute ago. That was them. I'm telling you, you need a password in order to even see these bags. So I've included some images here. That way you can know what you're looking for. Sis, I'm telling you, these, this bag is a bag you need in your life. And they have more than just the bandana print. They have cow print, zebra print, any kind of print you're looking for, they have it. And the best thing about this bag is you can dress it up, you can dress it down. I'd pair this bag with some Goldie jeans my Jordan 1's, do the University Blues, right? Get you a graphic tee, my fussy shades, and you know, I'm having that. So um, as soon as I do a new drop, y'all, I will let you know, and I am definitely getting a bag. All of this is said to say, you see all these DMs that you get, girl, and you don't respond, okay? I, I can't tell you how to live, but all I'm saying is, Tuli responded, and you went to work today. She didn't. Girl, she was designing bags. She's de she's working on the next top. She's working on the next jacket, okay? So that brings me to our next trend, trend number two. Um, trend number two, uh, I pretty I saw this trend start to become popular near the end of last summer. Um, and it was when Kylie Jenner wore that tie-dye dress. Do y'all remember that tie-dye dress? So the trend number two here is tie-dye print. Did some research when this dress, when she posted this, because it broke the internet pretty much. We were all like, oh my God, 
oh my god this dress we're not worthy this is crazy what's going on so i did some research on the designer of that dress turns out the dress was designed by a black creative her name is marianne um she's a nigerian native and um she works on these designs one thing i love about these designs is like the halter effect you know halter that just really that really accentuates and flatters any body type whether you have big boobs or small boobs like a halter top is gonna make it what it needs to be right hence my girl penelope here you know she's got it going on that halter just kind of pulls everything up and together and it's always really flattering so i love that look about it and y'all this dress these pieces they just hug every single one of your curves so tight and it's just it's effortless y'all these dresses are affordable i didn't see one piece on the site for rye london for more than 150 dollars i want to say i did not see um anything for more than that nothing is better than luxury fashion that is also affordable i think this is like such a cool trend like i said i saw it coming out as popular at the end of last summer but now that we can get a full summer and now that things are kind of starting to open back up i think we're going to see so much tie-dye y'all i think we're going to see pink and white tie-dye blue tie-dye green tie-dye purple I don't really think it's gonna matter as long as it's the tie-dye or like that marbling effect and it's hugging some curves I think it's gonna be good to go sis. For Rye London they got extra smalls too. Y'all know I love a place that has extra smalls. Her pieces are not completely sold out. She still has a few up on her site. Doesn't seem like she has a lot of extra smalls left though and that's completely on me. Like I said y'all sign up for these newsletters. Follow these people on Instagram because if you're not doing that, there's no way you're going to know when the drops happen and there's no way you're going to be able to get this stuff. And um, it's really sad and it, it really, it breaks my heart, you know, when I miss a drop or, you know, when I when I forget or, or anything. It just affects my entire day, y'all. So, and I'll tell you exactly how to style this uh, for Rye London piece, but let's get into the last trend because I think we're going to be able to double back. So the last trend, um, getting back into the streets video with Doja Cat and Kofi Sarebo, like, oh my god, she looked absolutely amazing. It makes me think almost too of, y'all know the, the Good Days video, Scissors Good Days. She looks stunning. Real bodies. Hashtag real bodies. Hashtag get it from my mama. Hashtag God made no mistakes with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the vibes that it was given. Um, and if y'all notice in the video, she has got on we love to call stripper shoes but I'm taking away that negative connotation because just because you wear these shoes does not mean you are a stripper so I'm taking that away and we're gonna call these pleaser shoes or teaser shoes right you know the shoes with like the huge platform and they're like six to eight inches that's it okay and this isn't just some kind of like sexual thing right this is fashion so one way that I think I would wear um, my pleaser shoes I just bought some so I think one way one one of the ways I'm gonna wear them is I'm gonna do like an icy blue like jumpsuit like all in one like this blue um you know my fuzzy, fussy shades and um I'm probably gonna do like a blue pleaser heel like an icy blue pleaser heel um with that and like you know my, my hopefully my Brandon Blackwood blue pony hair I'm waiting for the restock because there were technical issues the last time we won't get into that even to dress that look up if you want to dress up the pleaser shoe pair it with the for our London dress I mean any of them. any any of those dresses with the pleaser heel would look so good like Meg with the all black so guys I hope you enjoyed the show that just about wraps everything up we talked Carlton and, and Tuli Yato. Y'all, we got into the tie-dye effect from Farai London. And we even got into the Pleaser Teaser shoe. A lot of these brands you probably haven't heard of yet because they're fairly new. Um, and they're still pretty, pretty exclusive. And that's what I'm bringing, right? That's the value that I'm at. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And let me know what I missed. What other trends do you expect to see this spring, this summer? What else do you expect to see? And what else do you want me to cover? Let me know, y'all. I'm all ears. I'll see you next time on What to Wear. Channel me. I can't let up on no hoe. Get in the booth and go loco. Cash out in London, just take me to the